All right, so hello everyone. Uh, it's really, really great to have you tonight for our introduction section, introduction session for the upcoming online hackathon that Tech Fiesta is launching together with the Human Protocol. And in tonight's session, we will have two speakers from the Human Protocol Foundation who will explain to us more about the human protocol. They will explain more about the use cases built on the human protocol, as well as, um, just a second, I will be right with you. Work from home. Okay, I'm sorry for the delay. Um, so, to the, to, so in tonight's session, we will explain more about the upcoming hackathon as well, what the hackathon is going to be about, when is it starting, and all the details around it. So um, I have also prepared a few slides for tonight that I want to share with you. Just a second. Um, and I will also introduce the two speakers, um, Anshu and Sakib. Uh, can you maybe say a few words so everyone can see you? Anshu, do you want to start? Yeah, sure, sure. Of course, we can start up, start with that. So, like, yeah, like, uh, I'll just run with a brief intro about, like, what human protocol is and, like, what's, how are we impacting in the blockchain space? And like uh, before that, I would I would like uh, like to address the participants because because it's an absolute pleasure to be here today, standing before like incredible community of developers, innovators, and like the problem solvers of these of the current generation. Um. So like uh. So yeah. Like our journey began with like uh in the AI and ML industry, where we focused on training AI models and ML models through data labeling, but we wanted to tackle a significant larger challenge, which was effectively labeling large sets of data while maintaining high quality products. That's when we entered into the data labeling industry with a unique approach. So yeah, it, it was like revolutionary for us and like for the whole team. So similar to platforms, like we are quite similar to platforms like Mter, but with a twist we built our own solution, embracing the blockchain technology, making it decentralized and transparent. By harnessing the power of smart contracts, we made it possible for anyone and from anywhere in the world to just participate and contribute to the skills. We realized that the true innovation comes when we bring diverse minds together, just like how we are having this hackathon today. So it's an amazing platform, yeah. So we created a cross-border multi-chain ecosystem that enables billions, billions of people to collaborate on together. With this approach, we're not just solving the technical challenges, but we are building a global community, which is very important in the current generation and the times, and to foster the collaboration shared and learning. And now we spread our use cases to like various other like we're just trying to expand using this technology to like um, to like bring other platforms onto a pla onto a protocol to build things together and like just embrace the beautiful technology of blockchain. So how this uh, all works together is like people can come onto a platform, anyone from anywhere in, in the world, and they can just launch the jobs, create the jobs. And what we do is that we take the jobs, we break it down into simpler forms and then distribute it to a global co global workforce. And then the contributions are rewarded in like uh, in tokens of HMT. So and like currently like as a user based course, it's like 250,000 per month active users on a platform and we are processing around 10 million transactions on on the on the blockchain. So that's a, a very good numbers for us. Yeah. But we also like to expand on it, like, yeah, of course, like everyone, yeah. 
Yeah, thank you so much, Ansha, for this introduction of a uh, brief introduction of human. Um, can you uh, now also introduce yourself a little bit, what your role is, uh, so we can, uh, so the participants know what kind of questions they can ask you uh, in the end of this conversation, and then we'll move on to Sakib, who can also introduce himself. Yeah, uh, for sure. So basically, like I was into the tech side in my college days, and then like I started with like kind of into the uh, security side of line, which was ethical hacking. And my main expertise was into like creating uh, codes so that the brute force attacks are most effective on things. And well, like while that was going on, I was trying to learn more about the Ethereum mining. And I started with a rig in my home, which actually got me interested into the blockchain environment. And like, yeah, so one thing led to another, which is why I'm here in human protocol as like a business developer. And also I take uh, charge of partnerships sometimes. Thank you very much. Right, so Sakib, um, yeah. hi, yeah, I'm how are you? <laughs> sure, yeah, hi, hi, Maria. Uh, hello everyone, uh, so this is Akib. I look after product at human protocol, so, uh, have been a good year uh, at Human Protocol. Before this, I was into development for some time with Samsung Research and into some ad tech fields. Uh, have been a pleasant journey and really excited about uh, what the protocol is building and this hackathon in particular. So happy to answer your questions about the product, about hackathons or how you how we can help each other to collaborate into building something unique for human protocol. Thank you so much, Sakib, for your introduction as well. So I will say also a few words now about the hackathon, more on the organizational side before we dive into the problem statement and of course the questions from the participants here. So um, we're going to be hosting the hackathon on Tech Fiesta, which is our online hackathon platform which is actually also developed on the human protocol. Um, so we are inviting you to participate in this uh, virtual tech fiesta together with human. Um, registrations open tonight or today. Uh, you can scan the QR code and then go to the registration link where you can uh, register for the hackathon. The hackathon itself starts on the 20th of July. And we'll also have a kickoff event on the 20th of July, um, where we will show you how Tech Fiesta exactly works, because then it will be open to you to, um, to work with it, to submit your results on Tech Fiesta. And we will also explain um, how you will receive your bounty awards on Tech Fiesta as well. The hackathon will run for three weeks, so the end date is the 10th of August. Um, now, I will say a few words about Tech Fiesta. So, as I already mentioned, Tech Fiesta is an online hackathon platform where hackers, so developers, product managers, product, project managers, or anyone who wants to uh, partake in a hackathon can register and then can, can participate in our ongoing online hackathons. We call them Tech Fiestas. Um, you can get paid in stable coins on, on the platform. You can also earn on-chain certificates upon completing a hackathon on Tech Fiesta, which is an on-chain proof that you had this experience. Uh, you can gain ac access to upskilling opportunities because Tech Fiesta is actually a product of Ecolens and Ecolens is an educational blockchain organization where we provide upskilling courses, uh, we provide workshops for everyone that wants to work in the blockchain space. So by participating in a Tech Fiesta, you can also have access to all the upskilling opportunities that we offer. And we recently launched a series of panel discussions and speaker sessions with people that successfully won hackathons or sponsored hackathons. Uh, and they talk about their experience and what is important in order to win a hackathon. So um, I can share the link afterwards here in the chat for everyone that is interested to rewatch the first uh, panel discussion that we had with two international hackathon winners. They're sharing their experience in how to win hackathons. Um, on Tech Fiesta, you can also collaborate real time with other developers and other hackers, which is very important in this um, blockchain industry because we want to expand our network in order to have better access to 
um, jobs, projects, um, team members for, for a project that we're planning. And you also have access to grants and support from the hackathon sponsors, because the hackathon sponsors are usually blockchain protocols who also have a grant program. So if you develop a very interesting project that they would like to sponsor or give a grant, of course, you will have access to their grants program. Um, and now um, I would complete this uh, short introduction of Tech Fiesta and directly jump in the, into the Q&A session with our guests from the Human Protocol. And I have prepared a few questions for them um, that we need to tackle before, of course, we start with, um, yeah, with, with your questions. So um, we already heard from Anshu about what is the human protocol? Um, but maybe Anshu, can you also tell us about the most promising use cases for human that are built on the human protocol? And how do you see these use cases being used in the future? Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the grants protocol. That's something that we are really excited about and we really welcome like as many participants or like as many contributors to come and like harvest the technology that we have already built. Uh, and so like as of like um, the the grantees that we have and the, the things that are built on human protocol, one of them is like decoding animal behavior through post tracking. So human has teamed up with uh, CVAT and Salt Institute to annotate animal behavior. So yeah, that like, we can run machine learning programs on them to like monitor the movements, what kind of behaviors are they portraying in particular kind of environment. So that's one of a major major use case of human protocol. And the second one would be, um, uh, let's see, uh, maybe decentralized market ma making. So human protocol has also teamed up, teamed up with like an open source automated market making software, which is called Hummingbot to create a structure of liquidity providers for a decentralized exchange. So these are the two major projects that we are harvesting right now, but there are more to come. Something also I would like to mention, which is kind of like in the development phase is Audino. So they are using like, um, they're trying to build transcripts of dialects so that like uh, places like in India, where the, where the dialects change every, uh, say like 50 kilometers, it's really hard for organizations and like, especially in the medical industry to collaborate with each other. So they're trying to open doors for everyone through like translation, uh, translation scripts that can run on the AI version and like can help people communicate with each other better. And like also like um, Saki would also, I think would want to elaborate on a few things. So yeah, so that, that's for me and like, yeah. Thank you, Anshu. And I would also add, of course, the Ecolens case because we're also yeah. building on, on human. And what our purpose is with Tech Fiesta is to make um, participation in hackathons more diverse and more inclusive for people all over the world. So that means that people from even from countries where the banking system is not working properly can participate in hackathons and get rewarded um, on chain um, through through an escrow payment that is run on the human protocol. So this is one of the, the features that we are using. Launching jobs, which means launching hackathons, and then the payment is processed on the human protocol. Um, yeah, so- um, Yeah, I, I, I just yeah. left this one for you to explain because <laughs> there would be no one else better than you who can explain yeah. it. Thanks. So Keep, do you want to add um, another use case uh, that you would like to emphasize here? So, uh, essentially, there are a couple of other use cases like uh, the Fortune example app. I guess that's the most relevant for the developers here. So, the pro the hackathon is mostly aimed at uh, letting developers uh, focus on using the oracles of human protocol to develop a D app or an example app just like Fortune that uh, I believe the links of that are already shared. Apart from that, we are using these oracles to do many other data labeling tasks. And like uh, um, Anshu here said about 
uh, the CVAT labeling, salt labeling. Similarly, we have many other labeling things that we are continuing doing. Uh, so there are image label tasks, there are text annotations and other annotation tasks that are available onto the protocol. So similarly, we will, uh, the main focus of this hackathon would lie around two things. One is the developing of any example app like Fortune app. The code of that is available on the Git. And the second is uh, we had a proof of humanity concept where in different, uh, different solutions we are developed for out of uh, uh, just to verify the uh, human nature or like avoid bots. So another aspect of this would gather into one like uh, it. But my um, Sakib, I think we're losing you. I cannot hear you very well. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now it's better. But maybe because you're already speaking about the problem statements that we're going to work on during the hackathon, I can share the slides with them. And then you can elaborate a little bit more on the problem statements. So as uh, you said, I will, yeah. I will let <laughs> Anshu cover that, but I was okay. just like trying to give a small brief about it. Okay. Like what is expected there? Rest like uh, the use cases, the uh, implementations that we have for uh, human protocol are really vast. It ranges from audio labeling, text labeling, image labeling, and like what Tech Fiesta is building here. So all of these use cases combine together to form human protocol. I would say that's my bit of it. I will let Anshu continue for this. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, so the problem statement, the first problem statement is like uh, we are working on something called bot protection service, and we already have um, four use cases of it, like four types of integration. And so, what we would really like to do is get them all to one SDK. So, essentially, it's supposed to be like a service that would prevent bots, and we want to have we want to let the users decide on which way they want to go. So like, if you look at the, the problem statement, like um, I think Maria will share with you with uh, all the GitHub links and everything later. So there would be four of them. And so the, the problem statement is to get them all together in one SDK. So that's one of them. And the second one is basically Fortune app. Um, so it's, it's just supposed to be something like, um, Saki, would you like to help me with this, like Fortune app? Like, uh... Okay, sure. So oh, Fortune app is just an example app, which is using different uh, oracles that are present in human protocol, wherein we have reputation oracle, we have exchange oracle, and we have recording oracle. All of those functionalities are kind of explored using this fun Fortune app. Uh, the code of it is available as uh, with the GitHub link that Maria will be sharing. And uh, what we ex essentially do here is, is it's very simple app and uh, workers who are lo launching a job onto the protocol are asking for their fortune. Uh, those are job launches and it goes uh, out to the workers who are answering those uh, fortune questions like if you type in what is my fortune it will go to the workers and they will just type in uh, some uh, letters it's uh, and then uh, what recording and repetition oracle does in the back end is essentially just uh, uh, detecting if it's a duplicate or the like proof of humanity concept or like so that's just an example that we have built to uh, build as a report to let users explore the protocol and think of ideas that they can come up with and build some example apps of themselves where they can display the uh, usage of recording oracle, uh, reputation oracle and exchange oracle. Maybe all three of them, maybe even like using one or two oracles and uh, deploying some example app where and, uh, there is one part where jobs are getting launched and other part where workers are essentially solving those jobs. And then the escrows, which get created at the time of job launch, essentially pay those workers at the job completion. 
so that uh, the reward system is maintained for all the workers for their work. So that's uh, essentially what is about Fortune. Uh, but what we are expecting here is mostly developing of example apps other than Fortune as an implementation of the protocol. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sahib, very much. Um, this session is being recorded, so we will create a landing page that will be distributed to all the participants and everyone that registered for this session, um, and that for to everyone that registers for the hackathon as well. And on the landing page, you'll see the recording of the session. You'll see also a very detailed description of the problem, of the two problem statements, as well as all the resources that you will need in order to work on the problem statements. Um, so basically, you will have everything on, on this one landing page. What is also important, of course, is that you start collaborating with other developers who are interested in participating in this hackathon. So by um, by scanning the left uh, QR code, you can join our social media channels for Tech Fiesta and our Discord server, where you can connect to other teammates. Um, so by participating in hackathons, it's also important in what kind of a team you work, and uh, um, this will increase your chances of success, of course. Uh, so you can find teammates to participate with in this um, in this hackathon. But at the same time, you can also, of course, submit your project solo. Um, this is, of course, uh, also uh, possible. Um, if you want to register for the Human Hackathon, um, you can scan the right QR code. Um, so this is basically all the important organizational information. Um, again, everyone that has registered for this session will receive it uh, on a landing page. Now, I would like to ask um, Anshu um, to tell us a little bit more about the rewards that are expected uh, during this hackathon and how uh, they will be distributed to the winners. Yeah, so, so there are two problem statements and like we'll have winners from each. So two winners for two problem statements and um, the rewards would be $2,000 worth of HMT tokens distributed between the both winners. Okay, thank you very much, Anshu, for this clarification. Um, so the rewards will be distributed through the Tech Fiesta platform. That means when you start your hackathon, when you register for the hackathon on Tech Fiesta, you will connect your wallet. And then after basically, when you become the winner, uh, you will receive the rewards on your wallet. So when Human Protocol validates the winners, the rewards will be directly distributed to the winners to their wallets. This is how Tech Fiesta works. Uh, now, one last question from my side before I open the, the floor to others to ask questions is Anshu and Sakib, can you tell us what do you expect from the hackers that are participating? Can you give them some, some tips, some guidelines, how to be successful during this hackathon? Saki, would you like to take this? This would be amazing from you. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed uh, this. Uh, can you repeat? Yeah, sure. So I'm saying, what advice would you give to the hackers participating in this hackathon? Uh, how can they be successful? What tips can you give them? Yeah, sure. So uh, essentially, the the tips that we have here is uh, for problem one statement is that uh, uh, if you have seen uh, how uh, the, for the SDK one where we want to combine the protocol like different uh, solutions that are there uh, present for proof of humanity, what we essentially would suggest is how uh, you might have seen how different signups work uh, when anyone is logging in, so there are options of Google sign up, uh, any other platform sign up. So essentially combining those SDKs in a manner that uh, 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 is easy to use uh, for combining the proof of humanity solutions, which gives a very good interface for uh, users to select any of the uh, solutions to prove their humanity will be 
one of the uh, kind of uh, uh, idea to do it. And second statement, for, for second statement, uh, think of good example. The use case is really important rather than the end-to-end -end, uh, working of it. The use case is really important that uh, in this sense that uh, think of some innovative ideas about uh, fixing or about developing an example lab. Uh, my apologies, there is so much of noise. So I was in at a noisy place. So those are the two bits of advice for two problem statements. Okay, thank you so much, Sakib. Um, now, I would like to ask the participants to write their questions in the chat or raise your hand if you have any questions. So we can, um, yeah, so, or just unmute yourself and ask questions if you if you have any. There are some organizational questions. The, the session is recorded and you will have access to the recording. So don't worry if you have network issues. Are there any other questions? I wonder if there are any uh, protocol related questions like uh, any anyone here has gone through the repos and seen those. If there are questions regarding that, I would really love to answer them. You can raise your hand or type your question in the chat if you have any. Um, the time for the competitions will be always three days or will it be two days? I don't understand this question. So it's actually three weeks. Um, let me show you the slide again. So the hackathon will start on the 20th of July and it will end on the 10th of August. So you have three weeks to work on the problem statements and submit. Yeah. All right, any other questions? What consensus mechanism does the human protocol use? Sakib, do you want to elaborate? I couldn't get like, what do you mean by consensus mechanism? Uh, is it regarding the, if two jobs are competing with each other or like, can you just give more elaboration on that? What do you mean by consensus mechanism? Uh, Dayo, can you explain? Okay, maybe we can take now the question from, I think Gurkim is raising his hand. Are you, can, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Yes, uh, actually my question is there will be multiple, uh, multiple hackathons after this or it will be the only hackathon in the platform? Uh, I mean, I couldn't catch that details. Well, this is the first hackathon that we're launching, but um, that's the purpose of the platform to have a lot of hackathons upcoming. So we'll have a lot of hackathons throughout the summer, but this is the first one. Okay, and uh, actually in the presentation, uh, I heard that uh, there will be some reverse as stable queens uh, and it will be on human uh, protocol, if I could understand. Uh, actually, uh, we will need to add how to say human protocol on MetaMask. I mean, I, I want to ask it actually, uh, what wallet? can we use for it? Uh, what are the details on this? Yeah, maybe that's a good question for Sakib to answer because um, the rewards yeah. are actually an, an H and T uh, coin, which is not a stable coin, but because the solution TechVS is developed on the human protocol, we also support the H and T token. So uh, Sakib, can you explain uh, what kind of uh, wallet do the participants need? Yeah, essentially any uh, wallet like MetaMask wallet connector or any other wallet you can use, uh, preferably not an exchange wallet address. 
you can uh, give any ERC20 compatible wallet address and uh, you can always uh, kind of convert HMT to Fiat on gate.io, Bitfinex. There are many other exchanges out there who are supporting uh, HMT to Fiat off ramp. So you can use any of the, those exchanges. But while giving your wallet address, uh, make sure that it's an ERC to 20 compatible wallet address and to make it uh, adding it to the uh, essentially I believe everyone here might be knowing MetaMask so I will just give a piece of advice of adding HMT to MetaMask when you go to polygonscan.com look for HMT token and then from there uh, from the token contract address you can click on the polygon scans uh, three dot uh, more button and from there, you can add uh, HMT token directly to your uh, Polygon address. Thank you, Sakib, for this answer. Now, I guess this is a question for Anshu. You mentioned $2,000 worth of tokens between the winners. This means 1K token for each winner, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Um, Polo is asking, are we expected to solve both problem statements or just one of them? Any one of the problem statement is fine. And the best solution for that will be, and like it's up to $2,000, we can even go both. Like Maria said, while introducing, if it's a very good solution or very good problem statement that you're choosing, you might get a grant out of it as well. Yeah, so basically, guys, depending on how much time you have or what is your interest, you know, you can focus on one of the solutions submitted and then still become the hackathon winner, winning 1K for one of the problem statements. And then um, if you focus really good on this one solution and, and it's really a good solution, then the human protocol can uh, continue working with you uh, within their grants program. All right, are there any other questions? Let me see if I see any hands. I see a question asking, is the human protocol built on an existing chain? Yeah, the contract was uh, initially launched on Ethereum. Right now, it's present on many other chains, BSCs, including uh, BSC, Scale, Moonbeam, Polygon, all other chains are supported on this. Uh, can we interact with smart contracts or it's only where, with SDKs? SDKs essentially is for uh, combining the proof of humanity, which is uh, something different. Yeah, you can interact with smart contracts uh, with the human protocol. So Tolu is at, okay, just a second. Tolu is asking, so I assume the problems we can solve for the hackathon are confined to those problem statements. Uh, if you have any other kind of idea as well that can help human protocol in any way, we can always, our grants program is open for that. And you can always apply through that. But if even if through this hackathon you have some other idea, it's most welcome. Uh, essentially, we'll entertain uh, the first preference will be given to these two problem statements. But if you have some other problem statement that you can solve using human protocol, uh, we we are uh, happy to have a look at it. All right, and uh, one more question: Can one participate in the upcoming hackathon alone? Yeah, sure. That's that's fine. If you're alone or with a team, it's fine. You can participate as you want. All other previous, our previous uh, participants, we are always participating alone. But if you have a partner with you, that's also good. Okay, great. I don't see any questions. Uh, I don't see also any hands here. Some no one's raising their hand to ask questions. So I assume we we do not have any other questions. In case there are, um, we have a Tech Fiesta 
Discord server where everyone can join and we'll have a dedicated channel for this human protocol hackathon. And in this channel, you can ask questions. We'll also invite the human protocol team um, and they can also support in answering questions if they're too technical. Any organizational questions you can also ask and we'll answer. Uh, so now I see one more questions. Will further information be shared on Discord? Yes, um, on Discord. And we will also create a landing page, especially for this hackathon with all this information that you see in the presentation and further information. Because there is also, um, there are also a lot of links that the human protocol provided for resources um, where you can read more about the protocol and read more about read more information to help you solve the problem statements. Everything will be shared on this landing page, which will be provided shortly before uh, we launch the hackathon. Because of course you will have this three weeks to work on it. Because if we share everything now, everything will everyone will start working sooner. And then um, yeah, you will have much more than three weeks. But uh, yeah, we will share all the information in one place. That's the, that's the point of Tech Fiesta, right? Uh, to be in one place. Um, and you will have access to, to all the materials and all the information. Okay. I don't see any other questions now. So I want to thank everyone for their participation tonight. Also, thank you, Anshu and Sakib, so much for answering the questions and for presenting Human Protocol. Um, I'm really looking forward to this hackathon and the projects that will come out of it. Uh, and yeah, I want to wish everyone a great evening. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Looking forward to the collaborations. Thank you. Bye. Bye.